Yeah, my name is Musa Bennett. I'm originally I'm Australian. I'm originally from Adelaide, South Australia. I've been over here in Perth, living here for the last 20 years. I've been a Muslim for 24 years. I actually embraced Islam um, in a place called Port Hedland, which is up in the northwest of Australia, mining town. Uh, that's where I first um, was introduced to Islam. I was working with Muslims. I was brought up. Uh, Catholic, Christian, um, but um, from very young I used to ask a lot of questions to the priests and I wasn't getting the answers which um, I felt were, um, well, what I believed. And uh, through that um, I sort of went away from the Christian faith. I didn't really follow anything. I b always believed there was um, some higher power but I didn't know what. I actually never heard um, of Islam before I actually went to Port Hedland. So for 20 years of my life, I didn't really know anything about Islam. Um, yeah. When I was in Port Hedland and working with these Muslim brothers, they, they're, they're originally from Christmas Island, Cocos Island, and they didn't have very good English. They didn't really explain to me um, much about Islam. I just knew they didn't drink alcohol, and they used to fast occasionally. Um, as I got to know them better, eventually they gave me some books to read and a lot of the books, um, when I went through them, made a lot of sense to me. All the religions say that they got the right path and a lot of the religions that I had mixed with from Hinduism through to the different Christian sects, um, I could see were definitely not on the right path. So um, when I started finding out about Islam, everything sort of fell into place, uh, answered all the questions that I wanted to know and nothing hidden, and therefore um, I decided I wanted to accept Islam. One friend who was a neighbour lived down the road. He could see the change in us, actually. No more drinking, no more drugs, and it also appealed to him. He came over to Perth and wanted to find out more about Islam, and we actually give him dawah, and he also embraced Islam. And then alhamdulillah, my mother also embraced Islam. So uh, in my family now, there's only one a uh, sister who hasn't embraced Islam, but inshallah, uh, we're still working on that. <laughs> and uh, bit by bit, giving him dawah, eventually he come to realise that it is true. And out of the blue he said to me one day, look, I want to be a Muslim. I want what you've got. <laughs> so alhamdulillah, he, uh, he embraced Islam. Ended up marrying a, a girl from Bangladesh. And uh, so then he was on the road to practising Islam, alhamdulillah. Um, then with myself and him living over here, my mother would come over for holidays and uh, we started telling her a little bit more about Islam and we were practicing more then and she could see some good points of it. And even though she had no religion, she was brought up with no religion, she always believed that there was a God. Uh, so when we told her that this God that she believed in is the God of uh, Muhammad and Adam and all the different prophets and eventually she... she uh, out of the blue, she also said, I want to be Muslim. And alhamdulillah, she said uh, the shahada probably about five years, six years after I become Muslim. And now she still lives with us, and uh, she's 82. And she's been Muslim now for about uh, 15 years.